Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I'm back working at the Buick Encore. To tell you the truth, I made a mistake. I made a rookie mistake, and um, I put the camera to record yesterday when I was gonna weld in the front rail. Don't know what happened with the battery died on me or what happened, but it did not record the footage. So I'll just show you right now what I did. You can see here the front rail is already welded up. Unfortunately, I didn't catch in a video. Uh, everything here is welded up, like I said, here and around the back. Get some lighting. As you can see, it came out pretty good. Doesn't look too bad. Looks pretty straight up here as well and the sides i wanted to get a uh, footage me actually welding it up but um i actually don't know what happened to the camera so that's where i'm at right now the next thing that i want to install is the radiator the, the oem radiator actually has a crack by one of the inlets right here probably won't be able to see on camera so this was pretty much toast i could try to Maybe put some JB Weld and try to fix it, but I didn't want to mess around. So I ordered, I ordered a brand new uh, OEM uh, radiator that I'm going to be uh, throwing on there. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. OEM radiator and fan assembly. I just got to transfer over the fan to over there. It's cracked a little bit here. I'm just going to glue, glue that on. It doesn't really affect the functionality. Everything else works. Everything is fine. It's just that little crack right there. So that I'm going to keep. Radiator itself, I did want to change because I didn't want to compromise it leaking anywhere. The intercooler hose, the original one. As you can see, it's cut right there. During the accident, this hose actually came in contact with the belt and actually burned. A slice into it. This is the intercooler. So no liquid is really flowing to it. I'm gonna replace it anyway. I bought a brand new OEM one. That's in here, and I'm gonna be putting that in. First, I'm going to try to put in the um, radiator. So before I um, install the bumper reinforcement on here, I'm gonna just coat the inside of this piece since I couldn't get to it where the roads are at. I'm gonna use some of this um, Eastwood and turn the front coating. That's pretty good and protected, and I know the um, the piece won't rust from the inside out. So that's what I'm gonna do next.
Okay, so I hooked up uh, I hooked up all the um, radiator connections, so it should be good to go. I'm not gonna bolt in it just yet, because this, like I said, it's gonna have to move up a little bit, so this lines up perfectly. So for now, I'm just gonna wire tie it. I'm gonna hook up the coolant reservoir, fill it up, um, bleed it, and also put in the uh, air filter and intercooler. And I wanna give it a start, start it up. I haven't started the car since we got it. And on top of that, um, when we did start at the beginning, we didn't let it warm up and anything. We didn't let it warm up uh, because it didn't have any coolant. So now I want to actually do that. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Clicked right in. I was putting it in the wrong one. Go figure, huh?
Today we're gonna be um, changing the water pump on the 2019 Buick Encore. The water pump itself wasn't bad, but during the accident, um, the pulley got bent. And I'm just gonna change the whole thing because I don't want it in the future to be, you know, two months from now the bearings are bad and then the water pump goes. So I'm just gonna replace the whole thing and um, get it over with. So this is how, uh, so this is how we change the water pump on the. Um, LE2 engine. There's two engines that go in the um, Buick Encore, the same model. They're identical cars, different engines. This is the engine that I'm working on. So make sure you have right engine. The other one, the older style engine, the water pump is actually in here in between. And you have to jack up the engine, take off the motor mounts, and it's just a pain. This one's much easier. This one's down there. And uh, we're going to get them changed out. So here we go. See that thing wobbling.
looking pretty good. Here, I gotta fix this gap right here a little bit. And on this side, it's way too big. So I'm gonna bring the course part up a little bit more so this closes up and evens out. Overall, though, looking pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so now I'm gonna recharge the AC system. Hopefully there's no leaks. That's what I wanna know. If I did uh, repair that line. I did not replace it. So I wanna know if there's, you know, still go hold the vacuum. So I got the gauges hooked up. Red to the high side, blue to the low side. And I'm gonna turn on the vacuum and see what happens. I'm gonna let it pull it back in 15 minutes, then I'll close it off and leave it for an hour and see if it holds the vacuum. So we'll come back in 15 minutes. Okay, it's been uh, 15 minutes. I'm gonna close the valves and shut off the vacuum pump and see if it holds and see if it holds a vacuum. If it does, then I, I know there's no leaks and I could uh, proceed to give vacuum for another 45 minutes just to dry the system off. And then recharge it. So today I'm gonna get, um, try to get ahead of it and I'm gonna start disassembling seatbelts. The two front seatbelts are gonna have to go out and get um, fixed because they popped on the accident. And yeah, I already removed the, the only two airbags that popped were the steering wheel and the knee airbag and I already pulled them out and ordered them. They should, be, should be coming in soon. So now I'm just gonna start uh, taking this apart. Cancel all that. Blooper time.
here's the driver's side seat belt. Um, this is the part that blows during the accident and locks the seat belt. So I'm gonna send this off to get a rebuilt. And I also gotta tear the center console part and pull out the um, airbag computer and ship that out with the seat belt so it'll be um, repaired properly and reset and the car won't notice a thing. So that's that. And I think that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I uh, appreciate it if you can hit that subscribe button. It's totally free and it helps out the channel. I'm trying to build it up slowly and hopefully get some better lighting in here. Um, like and subscribe and I'll catch you um, in the next video.